you know what this bag means. Tuesday Reviews. Hi, I'm Deborah, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm reviewing some awesome items and some not so awesome items this week, as you might expect. Let's just dive right into the pink kitty bag of doom. The first item or set of items is this. Actually pretty awesome. This is the Be Legendary Matte Lipstick Minis from Smashbox. I was trolling around on Sephora the other day, Sephora.com as I tend to do, and I thought, you know, what do I need? More lipstick, right? I mean, don't we all need more lipsticks? Just saying. Um, I'm wearing one of these right now. I'll tell you about it in a sec. First, pop this open. Now, it did come all wrapped in some nice, pretty black tissue paper, which I got rid of. But these are the little guys you get. They're not tiny by any means. I mean, they look smaller than a regular uh, tube of lipstick. Here you go. This is what this guy looks like. But when you open it up, scroll that sucker up there, you get a lot of product. It's really not bad. I'd say it's probably about half the size of a regular lipstick. And they are super duper matte. When they say matte, they're not kidding. I'll scooch in so that you can see the color that's on my lips right now, then I'll tell you about the name. Little kiss. <laughs> this one is called, this one is called First Time. I don't know what they thought of that name for. It is sort of a brownish nude. Um, looks nice. I think this is a nude color that most people could rock. I normally wear pinks and crazy colors and stuff, but this actually looks pretty good, especially with my peach palette uh, eye look today. I have really liked this one. They last pretty well. Um, now, like many matte lipsticks, after you wear it for a while, it does start to tend to wear off and get a little bit flaky, but you can just reapply. Now, I talk on the phone all day long. I tend to chew on my lips. I know, bad habit. I also eat and drink at my desk. So it lasted pretty well even through all of that nonsense. Not too bad. And the color that I was wearing it in at work when I was uh, eating and drinking and all of that was this little guy. It is so red and it's called Bing. I don't know why Bing, maybe because it's a nice happy sound. It's also a nice happy red and boy is that bright and it is pretty true to color. It's a slight bit orangey on the red, but it was fun to wear. And I'll link to my Instagram post below where I had it on as, you know, makeup that I was wearing that day. It is uh, super matte and super red and it wore pretty well. Yeah, I'm more of the dark red kind when I wear the reds, but it was fun to have that pop of brightness out there and you can't help but be happy. You catch a glimpse and you go, oh, my lips are red. That's pretty awesome. The third color, which is actually probably my favorite because I'm such a pink, pink girl, is called Publicist. Where do you see this guy? What? That is sort of a fuchsia pink color that is so bright and just so perfect for me. I really like this. I see this staying in the rotation for quite a while because hello, bright pink. Love it. It's just so me. Yeah, definitely a great purchase on this one and they are still available at Sephora and I'll have a link down below where you can grab this little set because it's a great way to try a set of products. On that same note, Back to the kitty bag of doom. I have another set that I picked up. This is not makeup that you can see and look at the color of. It is the Smashbox Try It Kit. Primer Authority. Um, I'm always looking for new primers, new things to help the makeup last and look good and stuff. And I decided to give these a shot. Again, these were all packaged with some nice, pretty black tissue paper, which I have since tossed. And you get four items in here. Dumped it out, now I can show them to you. The first one is the Photo Finish 
foundation primer. Yeah, it's clear. It looks like sort of silicone kind of stuff. It's pretty good. It lasts well. Um, it feels nice going on, but boy, is it kind of weird to squeeze out of the tube. Let's see if I can, ugh, just kind of blurbs on out of there. But it feels silky and soft and just like, like, ooh, I'm kind of moisturizing, even if you're not. I can't even smell anything off of it. So if you're someone who really doesn't like scents, this might be the guy for you. It's a nice primer. I don't know that I would pay the regular retail price though, because you know, I'm all about the bargain shopping. But in this set, I got to try a lot of stuff for a really low price. These are just their sample sizes of these. So this will actually last a long time. A little does go a long way. Maybe that's something for you. The second thing in this box is the 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. It's actually pretty darn good. And I think that this container will last me months. Let me show you why. For one thing, it's super thick, but it doesn't drag on your face. It's not dry. It's just really thick. You squeeze out just the tiniest little bit. Oh, if I can get it out, I don't want to waste it. See that on there? That would be more than enough from one eye. Really. This stuff is just super soft and nice. And it does set a nice base for your eyeshadow. I tried it out the other day with some craptacular eyeshadow, not the one that was from last week that was so, so bad, but some stuff that just kind of cheap and not very pigmented. It made it look awesome. I was like, what? And it made it last all day long. Did I try to make it last 24 hours? No, a girl's got to sleep sometime. And I try not to go to sleep in my makeup but it works pretty well. I didn't check the retail price on this separately, but this might be one to actually go out and purchase. I liked it that much. That's saying something because I am normally a total bargain shopper girl, but when it lasts that long and you have to use so little to get so much out of it, it might actually be worth it. The next one is this little teeny tiny cute guy. It is, of course, Smashbox from the same box. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Yeah, because you need different primers for every square inch of your face, evidently. Um, wasn't as happy with this one. I don't know why, but it just, let me show you how it comes out. Again, little squeezy tube. You get that little blurb that comes out there. Put some on my hand here so you can see. It's very soft going on. It does feel nice going on has a little bit of a scent, sort of a, a fresh, almost slightly perfumey scent without being overwhelming. It's something that fades off and you don't even notice afterwards. But I just didn't think that it did a whole lot for my under eye compared to what I usually use. And I'll be telling you about that in a minute, not part of this box. If the other thing that I use isn't something that you would normally like, um, this might be a good go for you. A little does go a long way. And the little package is cute and it kind of swirls in there. I don't know if the full size one does or not. It's like it's only kind of partially full the way it's swirled in there. But, you know, eh, take it or leave it. It's not bad in any way whatsoever. It just didn't make me all excited. The final thing out of this box just has me confused, okay? This is, you see me waving it around because I wave everything around, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Y'all, what the hell is this? Did somebody just put some spray water in here and just go, and they expect you to put that all over your face and that's a primer? I tried it. I sprayed it on my face and I went, what the hell did this just do? Absolutely nothing for me. Maybe it does. You get a nice little trial size here of it. Um, I'm still not sure what it does. I'll try it again a couple of times ago. Let's see if it has any benefit at all. Um, but what is primer water? Can somebody tell me this? Am I just that new? Um, I don't know, primer water? Uh, why are you gonna spend money on a spray thing full of water with some schmutz in it? I don't know. This one is a total no for me. Primer water, really? Although 
I might save the bottle afterwards and use it for something else because it is a nice mister. One last trip into the kitty bag of doom for something awesome. And you might be a little surprised by this one. This final item, yes, the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I love this stuff. Six bucks. Six. Now, this is, I have a new package because this one's about out, but I'm going to use every last little drop. This guy, I think it's a plastic bottle, but it's heavy and frosted and feels really nice. It feels more expensive than it is. Trust on that. Pop that open. It's got the pump. We like that. And I'll squish out some. Only a little is coming out now because it's so empty. Normally, one pump full, which is probably about twice that amount or so that comes out, uh, will do my entire face, including my eyes. The scent, if you don't like tea tree oil, it might be a little off-putting, but it doesn't linger. It doesn't like leave you smelling like walking tea tree oil or anything. It just, you smell it when you're putting it on and it's coming out. It's like, what is that? Tea tree oil is kind of odd. But this stuff works really well. Does it blur every single pore? No. I mean, maybe if you're super young and have awesome little pores that are just cute. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm old, I got big old pores. But we smear this on, it feels really nice. This is so nice going on. You, you spread it on and it's like, oh, I've just rubbed something luxurious and awesome onto my face. I mean, but you can know that you only paid six bucks for it. I even use this on my eyes. They, they call it a face primer, but I'm all about multitasking. If it's not a multitasker, to quote Alton Brown, it shouldn't be with you. Um, put this around the bottom under my eyes. I put it on my eyes. Let me scooch in so you can get an up close look here. Now this is primed with the e.l.f. primer and I've got my peach palette colors on there as well. Now mind you, I have got a lot of wrinklage going on under my eyes. Um, that's what happens when you're 46. Okay, you start to get wrinkles. Um, I've also got dark circles from working seven days a week, 10 hours a day. My first day off in over two weeks, yes. But you do get some of that, you know, unpleasantness going on. This helps. Does it cover everything up? No, it's a primer, but it helps everything else stick. I never have a problem with my makeup budging a bit. Now, I use the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Foundation, which is not a full coverage by any means. It's like your skin, but better. But at the end of the day, after working all day, and this has been on for 12 to 14 hours, um, I go home and I use my makeup remover cloth first, mostly to get the mascara and stuff off because that stuff's a bugger. Um, but I take some of it off with the makeup cloth and boy, there's a ton coming off. And then I use my cleanser with the washcloth and boy, that's a ton more coming off because none of it has moved. This stuff, e.l.f. is actually a pretty awesome brand with a lot of their things. Try them and give them a shot. I think that this competes with any of the high-end brands of primers and stuff that I have tried. That's saying something. If you're like one of those people that I only shop at Sephora or I only shop at Ulta and I only get the high-end brands, why are you trying to spend all your money? I don't have that kind of money. You got that kind of money, come adopt me because, you know, we could be friends, <laughs> but I will still be a bargain shopper. I am all about the deals. This is the best deal of all of my reviews today. Reviews are fun. I love trying stuff. So be sure and stop by every Tuesday or any other day you wanna click on my YouTube channel and check out Tuesday Reviews because there might be something coming up for you soon. Please like, subscribe, and come back and visit. Bye.